uh, Greg Tuzinski, fully licensed professional counselor, aka Detroit's love guru, relationship and sex specialist, been doing this a long time. Welcome to the Art of Relationship Show, people. Hopefully everybody can hear me. Join in the live, <coughs> as I call, live uh, discussion down below. It is ragweed season here in the Midwest and uh, definitely in Metro Detroit area too. So sinuses are going nuts as uh, many people are suffering. So my heart goes out to all those out there. Again, join the live discussion down below and we'll go from there. I'll just type in a little welcome <coughs> uh, down there to kick off the discussion. Now, going to talk about um, a lively discussion that's been going on throughout the week about sexual balance in your relationship and I posed a question uh, maybe two days ago <coughs> excuse me um, regarding sexual balance in your relationship what the, does that mean and can you mix it up a little bit do you have to have a fully sensual loving making love connection in your relationship which let's face it I'm all about okay but also, is there about, you know what, that you can have a little naughty going back and forth, that you can just rip each other's clothes off and, you know what, devour each other animalistic style. Does that mean, you know what, if you do that, you don't have that emotional, loving connection at all? And my situation is definitely not, not at all, people. You can have both, so it's not a right or wrong that you can have both. You can mix it up a little bit, and that is perfectly okay. Matter of fact, I think that's freaking awesome. Again, you know what I'm talking about? Maybe myself. I'm not talking about in your relationship. Even though I think it's awesome, it's phenomenal, do you have to have both in a relationship? That's not up to me to decide. That's up to you and your partner or your loved one. <coughs> Excuse me. To decide and what does that look like you know what what does that balance look like for you in your relationship and there was a lot of feedback going back and forth that we love you know the soulful the eye-to-eye -eye contact making love that you can be sensual okay that you can be loving and be romantic have candles lit have you know little you know maybe Luther playing in the background or Barry White or whoever you know what maybe Megadeth whoever your favorite you know, band, uh, making love mood music is, okay? I'm a huge, people know me, I'm a huge old school R&B soul uh, fan. I love that, okay? However, maybe yours is, you know, Kid Rock, got to kick up for the D, right? Maybe uh, Eminem, <coughs> you know what, lose yourself. Do you lose yourself in that wild sexual experience? Or, you know what, are you the type that only wants it loving, tender, you know what, eye-to-eye -eye contact, as I mentioned before, and that's the only sex that you like because you figure that is the way you feel loved, that you feel tender, that you feel close with your partner. And I'm going to tell you, it doesn't have to be that way all the time. You can still be connected. You can still have that mix of relationship where you can, you know what, just curl your toes, rip each other's clothes off as a couple uh, you know, followers and, you know, listeners that mention on the aspect in your, you know, situation or whatever, that are you able to, you know what, get your hair pulled? Would you like your hair a little tugged, a little pulled, and be able to, um, you know what, kick it up a little bit and sort of a little spanky spanky on the booty? And do you like that mix in your relationship? And also, you know what, you know, you can have great sex but having great sex with the person you love is, you know what, insane in a good way. That it is a great thing. That it is, you know, it just kicks it up a notch, right? You can have great sex, but if you're not connected with that person, you walk away like, ah, oh, that was great. Five minutes later, you're like, uh -huh. okay, twiddling your thumbs, whatever. And you don't have that intimate connection. Also, you know, that balance, you know, like I said, you throw each other up against the wall, bend each other, you know, bend your lady over the couch, or maybe your man likes that too, you know, whatever. That you can just grab his ears and say, lick me, all that stuff. To have the gnaw 
naughty, the dirty sexual innuendos, the animalistic aspect. I love it, man. I crave it. However, I also crave the eye-to-eye -eye contact, the, you know, the slower, the making love, if you will, sensual type aspect. And what do you crave more in your relationship? Not only that, I'm going to ask you, do you have a balance of both in your relationship? And number two is, you know what? What the hell does that balance look like to you? And it doesn't have to be, okay, this time we're going to make sweet love. The other one, you're going to bang me up against the wall, rip out, you know, pull my hair, spank my ass type of thing. And it's not a right or wrong situation. It's however, you know what, you and your partner, what the hell do you want it? And again, it is not a, you know what, a right or wrong thing. It's what works for you. It's when, you know what, this is where I run into problem with couples, is when that balance isn't there, number one, okay, or that you are at two different extremes of it. One person only wants sweet love, that type of thing, and the other one, let's face it, might want, you know, a little rough or a little, like I said, hair pulling. I want you to spank my ass and, you know what, take charge of me and treat me like the slut that I am type of thing. And that goes for, you know, not only women, but men too, that you mix it up. But like I said, the clash comes in when one person only wants it, say, you know, sweet love, missionary style, never wants anything else, and the other one wants a little more dirty, talk dirty to me, that type of aspect, talk dirty to me, you know, call me names, yank my hair, spank me, all that aspect, and the other one, oh my God, I can't do that because, you know what, I'm a gentleman, I'm, I'm your husband, I'm the father of your kids or mother of your kids, I can't ever have it that way, I need sweet love based on your cultural beliefs or your or religious beliefs type thing or societal norms if you will I don't want people to live their life according to societal norms per se especially in the privacy of your own home the number one thing of course is consent okay you need to have consent what you like what you don't like but if you don't have that balance maybe that's why your sexual relationship maybe it's boring okay maybe it's you know what inhibited instead of uninhibited that you don't have that mix going up going back and forth and are you able to kick it up a notch and communicate right let's face it sexual awareness sexual pleasures that balance of making sweet love and you know knocking each other up against the wall ripping each other's clothes off comes to a balance to where you know what is communication that's what you need. And if you're afraid to communicate about your sexual needs, sexual wants, and desires, you know what? You're going to be maybe at a plateau, right? Maybe that plateau is okay for you. But why not challenge yourself and kick it up a little notch and look at, again, what does that balance mean for you? You know what? Do you want it a little more raw? And everyone assumes, you know, men are like that animalistic and women are not. That's not true. I know a lot of women that are animalistic. Woohoo! You know what? Just do me. You know, pull my hair. You give me that. You know, <laughs> that. You know, you give me that hard one right now. That type of thing. I love it. Right? I'm all about that. Right? And there are guys that are like, oh my God, I'm too much of a gentleman. I can't. You're my wife, my girlfriend. I respect you too much to talk to you that way. And the women are saying you're disrespecting me by not talking to me that way. You get me? So what does that? And that's where problems come apart when you are at total opposite spectrums about what that balance is sexually in your relationship and like I said number one is are you able to talk about it are you able to discuss and you know I want to try this I want this I want it to be a little more raw and dirty and if your partner is not like that or you know what you both are not like that does that mean you're gonna have a boring sex life not necessarily that's not up to me to decide, of course. It's up to no one to decide but you and your partner, okay? And if one of you is bored sexually and the other one is, you know what, okay sexually, or I think everything's fine, right? You need to be able to discuss that. You need to be able to talk about it. You need to, you know, figure out what that balance is for you, that little balance of naughty and nice, you know, that sort of sweet and raunchy type aspect, whatever it means to you in your relationship. Maybe, you know what, maybe your relationship is the opposite extreme to where that's all you have is the raw animalistic rip, you know, rip your clothes off, bend me over the couch type of thing. That's all you have. And maybe 
you want it a little more sweet. Maybe you want it a little bit more, you know what, loving, caressing, sensual, okay? Absolutely. I want both, okay? But maybe you only have one and you want the other and you think your partner, you know what, would be bored with that. Would be maybe you both are having a hard time feeling emotionally connected or feeling vulnerable and open and feeling emotionally sensual in your relationship. Hey, Tracy, hey, what's up? Peace. Um, welcome. So I want to know, you know, what does that look like to you? And you know what? Jot down what you want in your relationship below. Join the discussion, okay? It's not a right or wrong. It's what you want and what does that balance mean to you? Like I said, you know, maybe you only want your hair pulled in whatever because you're afraid to have the slow, the intimate, the relaxed sexual aspect, you know, aka tantra, you know, tantra sex and that type of thing about being more you know connected and you know slower and peaceful that type of aspect because maybe you're afraid to get emotionally connected so you can only you know what like raw animalistic sex in your relationship because you're afraid of the close the intimacy aspect and there are both women and men like that but maybe you know what deep down you want the more slower version of sex the more eye to eye connected sensual caressing compliments i love you so much those affirmations during making sweet love maybe you're afraid to do that or you or you think maybe your partner's afraid to do that and you're at two opposites of that aspect so you only have one type of sex it can be you know maybe missionary sweet loving caressing but then you get bored now, I'm not saying you you do. That's up to you to decide in your partner. But also, maybe the animalistic can become, you know, the raw animalistic. You know what? You think it's great. You know, bend me over the couch like I said. Knock me up against the wall. You know, just throw me on the floor type of thing and bang me. But maybe that gets boring too because you're missing the emotional connection. You're missing, you want it more slower, more sensual. Again, what does that balance look like to you? And you know what? It's not a right or wrong, people. It's looking at what works for you in your relationship. So if you have, you know what, your sex life is sort of blah, sort of plateaued, and it's not, you know, plateaued at a high level. That's not what I'm talking about. It's sort of plateaued at a, eh, maybe your sex life is mediocre. It's okay. What would make it great? And what would make it better? And again, the one thing I go after is, you know what, of course, emotional connection. But again, I ask about this balance. What does it mean to you? And there's some people, I'm not, you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, that can go into it that people don't realize. Maybe you don't realize in your partner that they're, you know, maybe a survivor of child sexual abuse, a rape survivor, uh, that type of thing. And... Maybe, you know, they're maybe inhibited because of those aspects. They don't want it rough or raw or animalistic, rip your clothes off, because it's a trigger be for maybe being a rape survivor. And these are things you need to talk about and to be able, you know what, to discuss openly. It's, I call it, you know, sexual maturity and emotional maturity to be able to talk about anything that, you know, triggers maybe... A better connection in your relationship and a de definitely like talking about today in the sexual realm and looking at what does that balance mean to you and our sexual anxieties getting in the way body image you know I talked about this on a show a couple weeks ago you know is there body image aspects is there you know maybe female pain issues and we all know i had a client yes you know a couple days ago and we we're talking about you know women in menopause sex might be painful for them so maybe what you used to like you know what you liked it raw rough you know whatever spank me and now it's painful and you're like oh my god i have to you know just go through with it and take the pain because i don't want you know my husband my boyfriend whatever to go somewhere else or to get bored sexually so you go through that me personally and a lot of men not all men i'm like if you're in pain and it hurts man that's a turn off to me because you know what i love you i care it's not a turn off to me it's a turn off to me because i don't want you in pain where you're you know traumatized where you're oh my god you can't even sit walk that type of thing I don't want that for you. So it's about 
tenderness and communication and being able to talk about what that sexual balance means for you and big time okay that sexual balance like i mentioned with you know maybe women in menopause going through menopause where you know the thinning of the vaginal lining it gets sore it, you're not lubricated as much and lube please lube but you're not you know what you used to enjoy and loved and experienced when you're maybe in your mid-20s now you're going through menopause and it's painful and it don't work for you that's where sexual communication in the balance, the sexual balance I'm talking about, you know, the loving, the sweet, sensual, and, you know, the hair pulling, you know, rough, you know, animalistic aspect. It needs to be able to ebb and flow as your relationship matures, as health issues come around. And what does that balance mean to you? Again, needs to re be revisited. Oh, we're 25. We used to do it all this way, right? Well, maybe that changes, right? Maybe you used to make sweet love, whatever, and maybe you're bored and you want to try something, but then you're worried about your partner thinking that you're dirty, you're a slut, you're no good, being disrespected, that type of aspect. No, I still love you. I love animalistic. That doesn't mean, right, that you're not loved, that you're not um, connected emotionally, that you don't respect one another. Not at all, okay? And there's a lot of misconceptions out there about that from religious groups, from societal groups, certain um, conservative organizations. They try to dictate what is right and what is wrong for you inside your bedroom, couch, countertop, whatever, okay? Don't allow others to dictate what is best for you in your relationship, especially when it comes to down to sexual balance and sexual pleasures and satisfaction okay that's up to you two again the key factor is two consenting adults big time okay um, no one is you know getting hurt getting disrespected you're not hurting yourself or hurting anybody else it's about total safety inside your home and inside your sexual you know palace if you will and what that represents to you in that balance okay so you need to be able to be open you need to be able to talk about it and what that means to you to have a sexual balance well what do you mean sexual balance means we have sex monday wednesday friday so, you know that type of thing it could mean that to you again i don't decide that i hope you decide what works for you and what that sexual balance means what i'm talking about is the balance of you know the sweet tenderness making love sweet love and uh, you know what pull my hair a little bit, spank me, you know, bend me over, just rip my clothes off and devour me sexually. That type of balance and what that represents to you, okay? So talk about it. Be open. Be brave. I know a lot of people out there, I make it sound simple that you should just be able to do it. A lot of people, like I said, because of how you're raised, because of sexual traumas, body image, whatever it is, okay, religious beliefs, um, maybe you're just shy, not a bad thing. I'm not bashing you, okay? I'm looking at you recognizing that and what would it take for you to be able to grow and evolve to be able to talk about this with your partner, okay? And if you have a partner that is unwilling to talk with you and make it safe for you and to be able to, to engage each other or what that sexual balance is in your relationship or marriage, you know what? That's sad. Maybe you need, give me a call, okay, or seek, you know, help in your area, whatever. I'm all about people seeking help with that. And it better be, okay, someone that is knowledgeable, that's compassionate and caring, and knows what the hell they're talking about, and that is respectful of you, okay? And because there's, you know, people might be licensed or whatever, they might not have that skill set. And sadly, you know what, so I want people to have the best proper care and help that's out there for you okay plain and simple that's it i want what's best for you so look at what it would help for you number one to have a sexual balance in your relationship number two what the hell does that mean maybe that's the first part you know what what does a sexual balance mean for you to your relationship and then you need to be able to discuss it with your partner and you know what his or her sexual balances and what yours is okay not a right or wrong and what you want more of what you want less of and if you are having a hard time talking about it and the old adage is if you don't know what you like and you don't know how to please yourself sexually how are you going to teach your partner it's going to be a trial and error and it 
tendency is going to be very frustrating and it's going to create a lot of disconnect. So that's the age old adage is, and I believe in that, that if you don't know how to please yourself or what you like sexually, you know what, your sex life is just going to reach that plateau and you need to work together. Be a team, okay? Be partners about pleasing one another and being pleased. Enjoy it. Have fun. Look at that sexual balance, what that is to you, not a right or wrong, okay? And then go after it. Have fun and feel connected and kick up the animalistic juices in you and also maybe you're afraid to open up and be tender and be emotionally connected. I want you to be able to be brave and become more emotionally connected. You can do both, okay? And still feel safe and still have self-respect and self-love and not feel weak, okay? Plain and simple. Enjoy the sexual balance. Kick it up in your relationship and your marriage, people, okay? Check out my website, theartofrelationships.org. Uh, everybody, enjoy your Thursday. Have a very safe, loving, you know what, sexually balanced weekend out there. I appreciate everybody's support. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, people, to the Art of Relationships show. I'm live, typically, every Tuesday and Thursday at 12 noon Eastern Time, right here on Facebook. I appreciate it, people, okay? You can also, you know, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. I'm on YouTube all over the place, okay? The show, the audio version of the show also is on iHeart, Spotify, SoundCloud, Google Music or Google Podcasts. It's tune in. It's all over the place, okay? iTunes. So check it out. I appreciate it. I want to help as many people out there have the relationship that they crave, okay, with yourself and also, of course, with your partner. And no single people out there, I want you to be able to, you know what, learn as well what you would like in your relationship and also maybe you're not in a relationship now but what does that sexual balance mean to you you're it's okay go after it look at hmm what would it be like if i you know was in a relationship or i want to be down the road what would a sexual balance look like for me simple okay so i try to hit a lot of aspects not only for couples married people whatever but also for single people as well so peace and love to everybody out there. Take care. Hey, Lisa, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, I'm not perfect, so you know what? You might hear me trip over my tongue or whatever. I'm live. It's raw, uncut. So peace, everybody. Everybody take care and enjoy again. You know what? What does that sexual balance look like for you? And to kick it up and have that, you know what? Improve. Even this weekend. Take care. Peace, everybody. Bye-bye.